Welcome to the tutorial. We originally planned to release two separate videos, but we decided to combine them into one complete guide. In this video, we are working with an in-paint workflow powered by the Juggernet Excel model. Part 1 covers how to deploy ConfiUI on a RunPod pod, access it, its API and use it in your own app. I have also created a ready-to-use app template so you can connect the API with your web app or desktop app easily. Part 2 is the serverless version and it builds directly on part 1. So don't skip it, you will need to follow some of the earlier steps. In this part, we will deploy the serverless function and test it using two methods, Postman and our custom app. All files, helper scripts and step by step instructions are available in the description below in the YouTube link, which is basically this website. As you can see, we have two download links in this website. We have detailed written guideline. This is for part one and for part two. Here, if you want to follow the written guideline, guideline, you can do that. Before starting on the actual tutorial video, I want to mention something that I forgot to switch off the HDR. The first two minutes of the tutorial video from here on, the screen is little bit washed out. This is our helper file given in the description. So let us start with the first one, which is creating a RunPod account. You have a RunPod account and loaded with some balance. If you use our referral link, you will get a guaranteed bonus between five to $500. So make sure to use the refer referral link and this way you can also support me. Now I have already created my account. Create is storage. So this is one is optional. You can directly start creating the pods. But if you want to reuse the pods again and again, I would suggest using a storage. It's not that expensive, a new network volume. Make sure to choose a data center that has GPU that you want to use. So I will use the Euro R01, which has a lot of option, GPU option. Let me just name it as test. And the size will be 40 GB is enough. I want to save my image in the cloud as well. So I would choose 40 GB. Now let me create a network volume. Now that volume is created, we will click on deploy. I will choose this one. Now for the templates, we will be using ConfiUI Manager Permanent Disk Torch 2.4. You can click on change template and choose option here. Just click on deploy on demands. Also, if you want more GPU count, you can increase it, but one is enough. Let me go to my pods. From the logs, you can see what's happening, what's going on and it, it will take some time okay the installation is done and our pod is ready to use click on connect let us go to jupyter lab from our helper file we can see that we have to use this command we are not using cpu we are using gpu so we have to use the gpu command to run our comfy ui and just paste the command all right all task has been completed now we can run our comfy ui now i will try to update my comfy ui to the newer version Newer version is 3.44. So, okay, let me just close this and restart my Confi UI. Now, the workflow I have I will be using will be given in the link as well. You can use any workflow you want, but for this tutorial, I will be using this one. Just drag and drop. We have a missing node. Let me install that. Go to manager, missing custom nodes, and just install this. When done, just refresh the page. All right, now let us save the workflow. You click Ctrl S, confirm. You can also save from here. Now we have to download the model one by one. So here in the helper file, I have given all the commands. So you have to add your API from CBIT AI. Now from your profile, click on settings and at the bottom API keys. All right, add an API key and paste your API key here. I've already done that. Let me just copy mine. Now copy this. Go back to your Jupyter lab and click on Comfy UI, then go to models folder. If you try to click on checkpoints, you cannot. Click on new launcher, open a terminal and just type CD checkpoints and just paste your code here and click on enter. Let us do the second one, which is we have a Laura's one, lady hand, help you to create perfect hands, fingers, etc. Now we also have to paste our API. Copy this, go back, and in, we have uh, downloaded in the Loras folder. So click on Loras. Now open a new launcher, terminal, and just paste your. Next, we have an upscaling model, but this one is from Hugging Face. So same way, go to Hugging Face and get your API key. 
So that just paste your API key here, copy the, and let me go back to models folder. Then here you will see upscale models, click on new launcher, click on terminal and paste your commands, download it. Let me refresh the page. Now choose the models. So this is this model called Juggernaut Excel, the real name, but I have named it as model.safetensors. Then let me click on this one, Laura to lady.safetensors. And next we have is the upscale change it to 7200 click on choose file to upload now as this is an in painting model we can mask the area let me click it open it on mask editor now in paint the area that you want to edit all right click on save now write your prompt wearing more the prompt the better will be the out now click on run from here you can see the cube and also from log you can see what's happening if you don't need upscaling just remove the upscaling option it will be even faster so let me open the image as you can see it's ch it changed the address and that's it now that's done go back to my pod and on web terminal click on start why do we need to do this because i have prepared a template for you which you can use to create an app or try it by yourself from directly from your desktop or you can publish it online all right it started we need this user name and password now i have created this web app for you you can use this the installation guide is in the readme first make sure you have on the folder then install the necessary requirement then we have to set up our dot env dot example first you need the comfy ui base url this one copy this and paste this in your actual env dot env so i have done that then you need run pod username and run pod password i already told you about this it's in the this username and this one in the env so i have done that next to run this you have to click on python app.py so let me open my terminal in the link so here is our app web app you can use this as a reference to create your own app but using pod is a bit expensive don't worry I will be showing you a serverless one as well but if you want like you want to try on your own desktop you can use this one now let me upload this one now before uploading your mask image we have to erase the area that we want to edit you can use this website which is gif jit it has to be an eraser tool you cannot use normal mask or coloring one now let me open my image now click on the eraser tool and erase the area let me increase the size now erase the area that you want to edit all right now download this let me go back to my app and upload write your prompt i will just keep it as it is if you click this one it will generate a random seed on generate image now if you go here in our workflow you can also see that it's working all right as you can see the image has been generated you can download this now using the same pod i am going to create a serverless as well so if you want to create a serverless version don't remove this terminate the pod because we will be using the same pod in our next video part two a continuation of part one in this part we are setting up a serverless endpoint for comfy ui and testing it using two methods Method 1 uses a Postman API to send a request and receive an image response. Method 2 is a custom web app built to interact with the same endpoint and display the generated image. Make sure you have watched part 1 or else you will not be able to follow this video because in part 1 we did half of the stuff. We also have a separate helper file for serverless but we will be skipping some of the part because that has been done in part one now in part one we already created a pod and this is the workflow and this is the jupyter lab don't need the workflow let me just remove this one we have to move the models folder in our workspace open a new launcher and click on terminal in the work worker file i have a command to move the folder just copy and paste that which is this one let me refresh this now we are going to remove the comfy ui keep in mind if you are not using the pod then only remove this if in your case if you want let's say you want to use both the pods and the serverless just copy the model model folder in here rather than using this command to move now let me remove this you cannot use delete from here if you do that you will get an error so we have to use a command for that that is also in the helper file so this is 
the command so it may take some time now we have removed the folder we also don't need this stuff so let me remove one by one now that's done let me go back to pod need the pods anymore all right just click on terminate now don't remove the network storage because we are going to need this for serverless i will be using the official config ui serverless api file i have downloaded this in my pc and i have modified it so the modified file i will be adding in the description link below also you can find this file sub so modification add your authorization which is hugging face authorization api so i have, I have already did that make sure you do that if you want also you can use the en environment variable options in runpod but the thing is that thing is buggy i have tried few time and get error like and make sure when you upload this file you don't make it public because you have your api key right even though it's just you are using the api key for downloading the models make sure it's in private next what editing we have added is you can see the snapshot json right they have an example snapshot dot json and here when you have any custom nodes you have to add remember when in part one we using the manager we have a missing nodes so for that i have created a snapshot upscaler the nodes that we installed it in part one was in paint so we have to add this here so we have created a new snapshot dot json we added the download link here if you're using a different workflow let's say and it has like two or three custom nodes and you have so you have to create a snapshot dot json for that and you have to add those link custom nodes manually here or else you are going to get error or you will not be able to use your workflow so this is very important if you have any custom nodes you have to add it here now when done upload this file into github private repo and when you are done with that go back to your run pod and make sure in settings you have github connected then we will be deploying a serverless now let me go to serverless click on new endpoint and you have two options docker image if you want docker image you can do that as well follow the official doc here convert your github to docker because if you convert it to docker it's fast when you deploy but i'm not going to do that i'm just gonna uh, i'm going to deploy our custom endpoint using github repo all right so let me choose that one so I have already uploaded my file in GitHub. So here is that one. So I'll choose this. Go to next, choose whatever GPU you prefer. So maximum worker, I'll just skip it and two more the better. And if you want like always active worker, it's a bit expensive. Or even if you have few users, you don't need this one. So I'll keep it zero. For execution timeout, I will increase to 1200. Next thing, environment variable. we hard-coded our hf tokens here so we don't need to add any environment tokens but if you don't want to hard code just add your environment variables here now this is the important part we have to add our network volume queue delay everything as it is now i'll click on create endpoint create an endpoint using github it's going to take a lot of time the first time you you do that i have already done that so my one was instant because it was cached and it's just now initializing but when you upload it for the first time it may take up to a couple of hours but after that when you remove or delete this and upload again it's gonna be like instant because as you can see my one was finished 17 days ago even though i removed this delete the file and i uploaded again using the github it was still quite fast ready we can test it out i have created two methods one is using post postman and after testing with postman i have created an app using serverless testing on that as well postman version first endpoint id okay so let me copy that make sure to create an account on postman and i will give you this file which is comfy why run port serverless now keep in mind that the model name and everything is as it is because if you have changed into a different model names if you have downloaded a different loaders you have to edit the files but if you have just followed exactly what i have done you don't need to edit anything first go to the main folder and from here click on variable and paste the serverless api id i have already done that next we need the api key of the run pod to get that go to settings scroll down and you will see an api key option so create an api key and paste it here now that's done now we will try with the async version so go to run and this is the api here is the model name and we have loras as well right so let me search loras 
So this is the LoRa's name and we are not using upscaling for this testing because it will take some time just to speed up the video. I will not be using upscaling. And now you see you have two options which is a mandatory. First one is input image.png. It is a JPG so change it to JPG but I am using PNG and another one is mask image.png. Remember in the pod version we have used two image. Image one is the image without erasing and the mask image is the image that we have erased. We use this eraser tool and we have mask area remember. So we will be using these two image and we have to convert this into base 64 because it's a serverless. The run pod doesn't get your image direct. How to do that tool like this one which is base png to base 64. Now choose the first file which is the normal image image and encode to base 64. Now that's done. Now copy in your notepad. Now do the same thing for the mask one which is basically erase the area that, that you want to edit. Now encode png to base 64. Now copy this and paste it into your note. Now first we need to paste the base image. Paste it here. Now next one is the mask image. Now you are done. Just click on send. So we get an ID, copy this, go to get status and we will paste it here. So it's done. From here also we can check, go to serverless, your endpoint ID from a request. You can see it's completed. Now from here, how we will get the output image. So the output image is also a base64 image. So let me copy this. Now let me open my notepad and paste. We have to do some cleaning. Remove all the quotations and other unnecessary stuff. We only need the base64 code. So let me remove this one. Now go to the top. Do the same thing. Remove the quotation from here to output image. Now copy this. Now we will be using base64 to PNG converter. Okay, just click on this. Paste your base64 image here click on decode so as you can see here is the image now that's done you can download this image so this is just for testing purpose to make sure that API key is working or not and every time you generate an image next time make sure to change the seeds okay or else change this or else you're going to get the same image unless you change your prompt and now I am going to show it using the app that I created so you can use that app as a base to create your own applications. Now here is the app file. This is exactly the same as the pod version, but this is for serverless. We need to up update our ENV. So here from the example, we can see we have a serverless API ID and API key. So I have updated those in my ENV. So the serverless API ID key is basically the same thing that I have shown you earlier when you when we use Postman. So from overview, this is the endpoint ID. So copy this and paste it here. And for the API key, which is the round port API key, get it from settings, go to settings, API key and get it from there. Now, when you are done with that, in the readme, we have the install the packages. So where is it? Yes, the requirement.txt and it will, and we already this, did, did this part. Now we can run our app. So let me upload your image. In this case, you don't have to copy or paste the uh, base64 code. Here you can just up upload the image directly. Here's my image and here's my mask version. I have erased the area that I want to edit. Now wearing yellow. Let me generate a random seed. Now click on generate image and let me go to here as well check if, uh, no it's in progress as you can see it's completed okay done <laughs>